It was 12, 12 midnight, and all of a sudden, without any warning, we found the, the bombardment and the shells started to fall. And at that night, four, 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 four were killed, and seven, uh, uh, ten were, in, were injured. You see a little a small space. Nevertheless, a few days ago, we have 160 wounded in 20 minutes. So it means we're overcrowded. Mm -hmm. It was impossible to work. It's just chaotic but functional. It was for me of critical importance to have a first sight impression, to also be able to interact with uh, the team, with uh, the humanitarian workers here. We have seen a lot of children here suffering, a lot of serious injuries, and you can only be shocked and shaken by uh, what you see as a consequence uh, of the war here. I rely on the advice of the doctors here what is, what is needed, but it is clear that with the amount of patients uh, coming to the hospital, almost everything is needed in terms of trauma, surgery and treatment. And, uh, and this is, of course, an area in which we are committed to continue, but also to strengthen our, our work and support.